everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. I talk to you about my love for patterns, fabrics, dressmaking and we just have general sewing and live chit chat. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, please keep on watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy what you see and consider subscribing. So today's video is all around my make nine plans. So the Make Nine Challenge is a challenge that is an all year challenge where you basically set out nine makes that you want to make over the year. And people look at it in different ways. You can choose like a type of a type of garment you want to make. I know Liz the Baker that sews chose nine pieces of fabric out of her stash, which is a really good way of doing it. Um, and some people are really specific about the actual pattern that they want to make. So it's now all 1st of August today and I thought it would be a great opportunity to give you all an update of where I am with my Make Nines video. And if you want to see my Make Nines video plans that I released at the beginning of the year, I'll link, um, link a link to the card here or here. I always get confused which way around it is. Um, so you can watch um, what I said I was going to make or wanted to make. I'll also let you see a um, picture of my actual plans here yeah <laughs> so in my mic nine challenge i um had nine items obviously that i wanted to go through and i'll talk you through them so so far so i'll talk you through them so the first one on my list was the eden jacket by tilly and the buttons and i didn't really necessarily want to stick to the eden jacket it was more so i wanted to make a rain coat and this was the only one that i really new existed at that time because as I say I was very new to sewing um so that was that one the next one um is the Sirocco jumpsuit which um I absolutely love um and that is by um Deer and Doe Sirocco jumpsuit the next one is the Kilo wrap dress by named clothing then there's another coat on there, which is the, um, I can't remember what it's called actually. I'll put it here if I remember, but it's by Tasuti Patterns. I think it's the Oslo coat actually. And I just really love this oversized look. I love what the model's wearing on this picture. Um, and then the next one is a um, pair of dungarees. The dungarees that I actually put on here were the Yanta overalls by Helen's Closet, um, because I've seen a lot of people talking about those. So yeah, I want to make a pair of overalls. The next one is the Carolyn Pyjamas by Closet Core. A lovely, sophisticated pyjama pattern that I just think is adorable. Um, so yeah, that's on my make nine. The next one is the Pauline um, dress by Closet Core, which is a beautiful, beautiful dress. Very fitted with a um, invisible zip at the back and this beautiful keyhole um, cut out um, design at the back, which I really, really like. The next one is the Ilford jacket, which I know we all um, love and um, really want to make that up. Um, and I have fabric already all set aside for that. Um, and then finally, um, Play My Pants or Shorts by um, Anna Allen. Okay, so they're my make, they were, were my make nine plans. And well I've actually made two of these items and I'm in the progress of making the third so the first one that I have made is the Sirocco jumpsuit by Deer and Doe and oh my god you know if you watch my vlog I absolutely love this pattern so much it is just a genius genius pattern but I just can't say anything more about it it is so comfy it's so flattering I've made two of them I've only made the long legged, ver long legged, the full length version, and I haven't made the short sleeves yet. I've I've always put the three quarter length sleeves on, which don't come with the pattern. It's just I just lengthen the sleeve because I just love that three quarter length look. Um, but yeah, you, you know, it's very very easy to do. I will definitely make more of these. I the, the first one that I made was my twirl, and I made it in a really really cheap. Um, ITY uh, polyester jersey from um, Pound Fabrics, a spotty one. I'll put a picture in if I can find it. Absolutely love it. So comfy, brilliant. I'm wearing it all the time at the moment because it was a little bit bigger. Um, I sized down on my second one. Um, but oh, it's just so comfortable. I love it. Really, really love it. 
Um, I get loads of compliments on it as well when I'm out. People say, oh, I love that jumpsuit. Where did you get it from? And I'm like, I made it, which is always really nice. And then I made my second one in um, a Little Johnny um, jersey that I got from a So Heady Jane box, which had, which was like um, a denim blue with kind of like um, celestial stuff all over it. So um, stars and planets and things. So yeah, it was re really, really loved that one as well. So I have actually made two of those. Um, and it's a very tried and tested pattern that I absolutely love. The second thing that I've made is the Kilo Wrap Dress by Named Clothing. And I made this in a <clears throat> beige... Um, in fact, I've actually got this here because I do want to make a little change to it. It's in my work in progress. So I made it in this fabric, which is a beautiful fabric that I got from Stitch and Ink, um, a lovely cotton jersey. Um, really, really like this pattern as well. Very, very flattering. The only, the only reason it's in my um, work in progress is I just want to revisit the slit at the back because I didn't do my finest work on this and it's bugging me. So I want to go back in and just um, neaten that up a little bit and potentially take an inch out of the length as well. Not quite happy with where it sits on me. Um, but I really love this pattern. In fact, I'm in work this week, so I actually might wear it to work. Yeah. Yeah, I made it with the sleeves, um, but yeah, it's, you can make it without the sleeves and you can always do, also do the jumpsuit version of it as well, um, which, mm, yeah, I've forgotten about that. So yeah, there's a jumpsuit version as well. Again, really great pattern, really, really like it. And there's some great ones out there. If you follow the pattern, um, the hashtag on Instagram, there are some great ones out there as well. And then my third make, kind of make, I'm, I've cut it out and it's being done in the next week or so is the carolyn pajamas these are by closet core um i don't want to spoil the surprise of what fabric i'm using because the fabric's amazing um yeah i am just i it took me a long time to figure out the sizes on this one because i don't like jammies that are very tight on me i like to have a lot of movement um so i printed out the pattern in the size 10 closet core which is what i normally go with but I think I'm going to size up to the 12. I can always take it in. Um, I'm just worried about it being too tight. Um, but yeah, that is cut out now. Well, I say the, the pattern's cut out. Um, but yeah, I just probably need, I, I'm just got to consider, do I go to the size 12? I think I probably will. And therefore I need to reprint out the pattern, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. But this fabric's so special, I don't want to get it wrong. So yeah that's what I'm so so you know I'm not I've not done great progress on my make nine I have got sidetracked along the way and I think this um I'm really going to think about my make nine for next year about you know how I commit to things what I might do is a combination for next year of fabric that I want to make up types of garment so I'm not kind of restricted by the pattern if that makes sense so let's talk about the ones that I am going to swap out or not necessarily swap out, but have a different pattern in mind for, for that make nine. So first of all, the Eden jacket, which was the raincoat that I want to make. So the Eden jacket's really lovely, but I actually have, ha I really like closet core patterns. I've made quite a few of them now. and I've got a lot of them in my stash and I really, really like the Kelly Anorak. I've seen that made by a lot of people and I really, really like it. And um, I really like the drawstring around the waist to nip it in. And, and Lauren from Guthrie and Garney does a really nice, uh, did a really nice one and um, inspired me to do it. So I am swapping that Eden jacket out and turning it into the Kelly Anna rack because I really know I want to do that. And I have got the fabric now for it as well and it will be perfect. Um, so yeah, I've got it in a wax cotton canvas, so I think that'd be really lovely. Um, so yeah, that, that Eden jacket is being changed for the Kelly Anorak. Um, so that's that one. The coat, the Oslo coat by Tissuti Patterns, I am still making that one. I have some fabric for it. I'm just going to wait till the winter. I was never going to make that in the summer anyway. So that's going to wait till the autumn and I'll make that up. The next thing is the Yanta overalls. So I don't have this pattern currently, but I do have the Heyday dungarees. So 
what I'm thinking is I'm going to swap that Yanta overall image out for the for the heyday dungarees by Waves and Wild because I have that pattern I haven't made it yet and it still meets the brief of an overall so that will be being swapped out for the um heydays the Pauline dress by Closet Core, I still want to make that, but I don't want to make it yet because I want to get back to my um, optimal measurements before I look at making that. And I definitely need to twirl that because it's got an invisible zip, it's got a fitted bodice, bust, you know, there's a few things there that I want to get right before I make it up in the fabric that I've got in mind for it. So the fabric I'm thinking of making that up in is this fabric here, which is a Lady McElroy uh, fabric it's a mm, I think it's a poly poly viscose or something it's got quite a sheen to it you won't want to put the iron on it basically um but yeah that's that's a lady McElroy Africa print I think it's called um I don't know if I've got I definitely haven't got enough to make the long version in this but I could make the short version in that um definitely I'll just pop that back So that's a Pauline dress by Closet Core. The Ilford jacket I am going to keep in. I like the Ilford jacket. I've got some fabrics in mind for it. Um, I've got some material to twirl it in. I can't get that, show you that because that's up in the cupboards. All my winter fabrics is up in my um, wardrobe, hidden away. Um, and then I've also got some of that um, Sherpa denim with the Sherpa fleece inside, which I do want to make the Ilford jacket with as well. So I'm going to twirl it with this... Um, checked coating fabric and then once I've got the fit right I'm going to make it in the Sherpa and then finally the Anna Allen Palomo pants I haven't got this pattern I definitely want to make it it is next on my list I would try like to make them the shorts version in August I've got some really nice stretch uh, stretch what's it called cord um, which I got quite cheaply from Pound Fabric, so I thought that'd be perfect to twirl them in. Um, and yeah, that is my Make 9 update. So yeah, as you can see, there's a few things that I'm swapping out, only two things really that I'm swapping out. I have done a couple of these makes and I hope to progress through the rest of the year. But yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed that kind of little update. Let me know how you're getting on with your Make 9 plans. Um, it's very, very easy, I find, to get kind of waylaid and off track with these uh, Make 9 plans. But I'm really determined to do it. I like to set myself goals, as you probably know from, from this. Um, but also, I don't want to make things that don't bring me joy. So Plans are there as a guide, aren't they? A good thing to do is if you change, you can change your plans. And make new plans that's okay so yeah i'm going to update my mate nine grid and i will we'll post that up at the end with what i'm swapping it out for and yeah hopefully um i will be able to give you another update in a couple of months where i will have crossed a couple more of these off my list but it looks like i'm going to be doing a lot of coat making in autumn winter So okay, I hope you've enjoyed this quick vlog um, and if you've liked this vlog, please click the like button. As I say, let me know how you're getting on with your Make 9 plans. Really interested to hear if you've made any of these patterns that I'm going to make. Um, got any suggestions for fabrics that you think would be nice? You know you've seen my hauls, you probably know what I've got. Um, any tips that you've got about making any of these patterns too would be great. Um, so please click the subscribe button if you don't subscribe already um, and I hope to see you all soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Happy sewing. Mm -hmm.